Hi, I'm Bryce Leader from Copy, Play and Learn and welcome to another one of my blogs. Today we'll be talking about the Suzuki method for guitar, its benefits, its shortcomings and how its shortcomings may be overcome. The Suzuki guitar method books are made from a series of brilliantly graded and sequential pieces, each building on the last. Once the student gains some momentum, progress can be swift and the student capable quite quickly. The method makes use of many pieces of the classical guitar repertoire. The question arises, do you have to completely embrace the Suzuki teaching philosophy and methodology in order to benefit from the method books? I can only speak from my experience, but I would say, no you don't. The Suzuki method is aimed at very young children and has produced many fine young musicians. They typically they come from families whose parents have high expectations and a strong work ethic. The philosophy of the method is that children learn to acquire music skills in the same manner as they acquire language skills. A child learns to speak only after being immersed in the sounds and rhythms of the mother tongue and will speak only after having heard its words spoken perhaps a hundred times. So this leads to the next question. How do you create an environment where the child is immersed in the music that they are to learn? Well, the recordings that accompany the Suzuki Guitar Method books are to be continually, continually played in the car or at home. At least one parent is to accompany the child to their lesson and learn alongside the child or, if not, take notes. The parent is to establish a practice routine and must ensure that pieces are played and practiced as per the teacher's directions. The parent becomes the at-home tutor and practicing becomes part of the family routine and as natural as any other family activity. But what about the child whose environment is not that favorable, whose parents can't attend lessons or would prefer to send their, to, uh, or would prefer to send their child to soccer on a Saturday morning than sit through another group rehearsal or a group lesson. Can a young child learn to play an instrument whose parents don't want a Suzuki flavoured home? Most of the parents of my young students are happy to have their child taught guitar but keep their involvement to a minimum. Although some have been known to sit in on lessons and learn alongside their son or daughter, parental, parental involvement is not something that I insist on. Although, as any music teacher will tell you, parental involvement and enthusiasm can have, a, can have a huge bearing on the progress of the child. I don't actually get many parents asking that their three or four year old child be taught guitar either. Parents usually start asking for lessons when the child's about five. While their, phone, while their fine motor skills and cognitive skills are only just developing, a five-year-old child can understand instruction better and is learning to associate symbol with sound at school. Five years of age is about the right time to start learning guitar and reading music. Early childhood educators teach from this age and start to develop a child's fine motor skills with activities like colouring in and using scissors to cut out pictures. They are taught to recognize words by associating a word with a picture or image. The guitar teaching method that I use, that's copy, play and learn guitar, assists, assists children as young as five years old to develop their fine motor skills and learn to read music in a similar way as early childhood educators teach a young child to read and write. Kids learn naturally through imitation and Copy, Play and Learn uses this as a cornerstone of its methodo methodology. Children start to think about how music works and explore the relationship between the pitch of notes and their likely position on the stave and fingerboard fairly early. Prior to using both hands, there are pieces that allow the child to focus on one hand at a time. Musical phrases sometimes use stepwise movement to show the student how uh, notes appear in alphabetical order on the stave and on the fingerboard and are often associated with words. Now these same phrase word combinations appear in later songs tr triggering a child's memory. Some pieces follow visually logical patterns, uh, finger patterns, which help the student play uh, 
what could look like a complicated piece of music. Being based on the imitation principle, a child will imitate their teacher playing a short phrase and will have seen it, heard it, process it, processed it and know where it fits in in the context of the piece. Copy, Play and Learn Guitar takes young children from, from being absolute beginners with little finger dexterity and no ability to read music to being independent note readers and able to interpret and respond appropriately to the signs and symbols of written music. It's easy, fun and requires surprisingly little effort. The student is then easily able to move on to the Suzuki Guitar Method books and books like it. Personally, I find the Suzuki philosophy and methodology of instruction a little bit too involved for most average young children and their parents, especially those uh, children whose parents simply don't have the time or inclination to act as tutors. However, in my 30 plus years of teaching experience, I've found that by using simpler techniques designed for a young child's stage of development, they progress much quicker into more advanced methods like Suzuki.